Đấy. Oh. <laughs> Hi! Okay, today Dan and I are gonna try four different types of ice cream around Saigon and figure out what kind's the best. Here we have Kemba or avocado ice cream. And then we have this like little Kemya coconut ice cream with sticky rice and a little coconut. Good okay. This is more Thai style, and Kemba is more um, deluxe style. Yeah, it just definitely reminds me a lot of deluxe. Yeah. Right. I, I guess oh. I'll just use my hands. <laughs> you know what makes this one better than deluxe? Exactly. It doesn't sneak in a durian taste. Some of the yeah, some of the ice cream in Delac has like you eat it and you're like, what the fuck? Like it has a slight durian taste, and you think that's the kind of thing someone would mention to you ahead of time, but they never do. It's always like you're gonna have avocado ice cream, then there's a durian taste. I think I like the avocado one more. Yeah, I really, it's kind of hard to scoop the soy. Yeah, I can the, I mean the sticky rice. So far, avocado ice cream winner. Okay, we're now in stop number two with snow cup. And we have this. It's a snow cream. So snow cream is different from ice cream in that ice cream air is normally whipped into the mixture while it's being frozen. But with this one, it's a big chunk of block of flavor, in this case, Thai iced tea. And then after that, they put it, they have this big chunk of block. And then so when we order it, they then shave the pieces off. So then it has this like, airy texture and ours has some tapioca topping corn pipe mm. it's nice it's nice because and though it doesn't taste too old like it's been sitting around for a while gathering lots of layers of ice so good job there it's really different from the coconut ice cream so i can't really make a call which one is better? Yeah. Now we're at this new spot all the kids are talking about. Here is our strawberry and peanut snow cream. Same situation going on here. Um, yeah, this one? This one's significantly better than snow cup. It's significantly better. Okay, so now we're at our first gelato place. Gelato, my favorite type of ice cream. Let's see. Let's track it till it goes. You can tell, I can already tell when I put my spoon in it that it's not icy, it's not very fresh. It's creamy, good amount of air in it. It's good gelato. Okay, that was a lot of ice cream and I'm pretty much dying right now because I, like most Asian, am lactose intolerant so the idea of doing a day where I just eat ice cream for hours straight was probably not my smartest idea. I just wanted to wrap up the video and conclude that in the end, I would say my favorite place to go to was for a garwa, whatever, I don't know how to pronounce it, but that snow cream space in the third place that we visited that was amazing. Uh, I don't. I also don't know if it's because I had a lot of sugar at that point, but at that spot, it was the lowest amount of sugar, so the taste was super subtle, a lot more grown up. The price was also really good. It was thirty-five thousand BND. That's about a dollar fifty for that bowl. It was the same price as the coconut ice cream or the avocado ice cream, which was at a much more like down market every day kind of location, but yet their prices are pretty similar. So I, of those four places, I would definitely recommend for a Gari, whatever. Look for the place with the giant polar bear in D1. Definitely recommend that. Um, and unfortunately, by the time I got to the gelato place, because even though it's my favorite gelato place in the city, I think I was just on a sugar overload, so I couldn't do it anymore, it tasted much too sweet for me. 
but I know the quality is there. The second place snow cup, whatever, forget it. Don't even pretend it doesn't exist. It doesn't need to be talked about anymore. All right, so that was it. More ice creams around Saigon. Now you guys know which ones 